crack a cold one, boys. Ooh. Wow! What's up, all my wee lasses and laddies? We're coming out of the lock. Today on God Save the Food, we're gonna be looking at one of the greatest places in the entire world, Scotland. The birthplace of tikka masala. My ancestors are from Scotland. I'm a Matheson. Fucked eight sparrow. That is a motto to do and oh. This episode is a tribute to all Scots people. And we're gonna figure out what tikka masala is really about. In the 1970s, in a restaurant in Glasgow, a customer complained that the chicken tikka was too dry. So the restaurant owner made up a tomato sauce with cream, with a hint of spice. The Scottish are a really ingenious and creative bunch of people. They actually invented the television, the telephone, the bicycle, and I definitely think Chick and Tiger did be up there one of the best. What did he just say? I couldn't even understand what Josh just said. That was incredible. I will be adding a wee bit iron brew into my curry today. So the, he just added like a, a pop or something? So being rap god, as I always say, Look at the size of that bad boy. Oh, big old <laughs> dumper. Now, what makes a Scottish curry? The creativity, the artwork, and the right spices. The things that I'm getting here so far, I'm hearing tomato, I'm hearing cream, I'm hearing spices, I'm hearing chicken. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is make a marinade. Here I am. Could you see me? Was I hiding behind another tartan? I got chicken legs here, yogurt, about one cup. We're gonna add some flavorings to our chicken. Two tablespoons dried chili flakes, ground coriander seed, cayenne pepper, cumin, turmeric, and two tablespoons garam masala. We're gonna mix that, incorporate all that into the yogurt. I'm gonna grate some ginger and grate some raw garlic, and then I'm gonna marinate the chicken legs. We got our chicken marinating into the fridge. Couple hours, marinate, break it down, get the flavor inside. Scotland, there's a couple things done differently. Their entire religion is based off of a snake aquatic monster that's based in a lock. That's a lake. Nessie's favorite food is tikka masala. Scotland, I love you! Now, I need to make the greatest tomato sauce ever, right? One onion, some hothouse tomatoes, whole, don't cut them in half. One roasted red pepper, two jalapenos, nice and spicy. Throw a banana pepper in there. We got jalapenos, we got some banana peppers, some chilies. We got some ginger left over from our marinade. Take some garlic, throw that in there. Some olive oil, always some salt, some pepper, and now, as my grandmother would say, char the out of it. Top shelf. That's a bagpipe. Bagpipes. Hey, guess what? That hat on top of my head, it was up my lighting. If you've seen bagpipers wear berets, they're not wearing the real hat. That one, the cowboy hat wrapped in tartan, that's the hat. That's what they've been wearing for thousands of years. Good day, mate. That's not it. Many of the visitors to Scotland are confused by the unique Scottish slang words. And to make things even more confusing, each region has their very own variations of common words. For example, in Edinburgh, they talk about barn. Barns? Barns? But in Glasgow, they speak of weans, both meaning small children. What? What? Scoozy? Ah, ah. So we have all of these blistered vegetables, the peppers, garlic, the tomatoes are perfect. This is why I didn't want to cut them in half because I want all of the juices inside. So when I blend it, I'm going to create literally a sauce. <laughs> mm. Pop open the oven, turn the grill on, slide it in, slide it out, put it in, blend it up. Bambot, what's bambot? Either an idiot, I'm a bambot. Bampot? Bam pot, I couldn't even say it right. I'm gonna add some garam masala, cumin, ground coriander seed, a little bit of turmeric, and some fenugreek. Now, all we gotta do is add our cream. And guess what, we got a special addition. Cause we can't be making tikka masala without our iron brew. Crack a cold one, boys. Ooh. 
Wow! That tastes like uh, cream soda vomit. You work on one show with kids and you start yelling at everybody. Sound guy's a No, he's a bam pot. He's a bam pot hack it. He's ugly, dumb, and... <laughs> Plane's gone. Plane's gone, thank you. I'd put bop, pop and barbecue sauce. You know, I'd put a Dr. Pep or a Coca-Cola. So why not? That tastes insane. <sighs> Can't stop, it's evil. Oh my God. When I think tikka masala, I think a carbonated sweet drink. I wanna add two big scoops, Yogi. Mm. Huh? Uh. Uh. Now let's taste. It's good. Needs salt. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh, thank you. Tika ma sala. Mm. It's just as easy to do that than to open up a can and like cook that in a pot. It's just a matter of like, either you're gonna open up the can or you can make the sauce yourself. Be the sauce. Be the, the mythical creature. This is 100% a Nessie. It's where, where do you think a Nessie came from? Do you think someone just conjured up a lie and the entire world believes in the lie? There's giant megalodons, there's megalodons, there's giant sharks, there's giant squids. Nessie was probably just a large salamander. It probably slithered into the old lock. Nessie? Nessie? Someone like cracks a cold one of an iron brew, tosses it over their shoulder, and it leaked into the lock. Nessie was like, what's this? Zip, 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 zip. Oh, I like that. Bow! Nessie was born. We literally just made a sauce with a blender, okay? We roasted vegetables, threw it in, some yogurt, some spices. Now let's roast chicken. So we're gonna take our chicky, we're gonna brown all of these up. Take some salt, give them a little seasoning into the oven. Lang me your lumbreek. What does that mean? Skinny malinky long legs. Let's get cracking on this rice. We got two cups. Jasmine rice. Two cups rice, one cup of water, two cracked cloves of garlic, little nice piece of ginger. Got a tablespoon of butter as well. A pinch of salt. Bring this up to temperature. Get all fluffy nice. Big old pot of rice. A jobby is poop. Your bum's oot, the windy. Oh, if your bum's hanging out the window means you're lying. Rice is bubbling, turn it down to very low. Look at this. And now we're gonna brown the other side back into the oven grill until these are nice and golden brown. And then we're gonna stew them in some tikka masala sauce that we made. <sighs> I only like eating curries with bones in them. I don't like the chicken breasts. Chicken breasts, <laughs> off. Chicken legs, <laughs> in. Here we go. Chicky, oh yeah. Our grill roasted tikka masala sauce. Pour all over the bottom. You wanna make sure that you take your chicken and completely cover it in that tikka masala sauce into the oven. Let's go, God save the food. See you in 30 minutes, free. When you pray, you go down by the, the lake, you find like a rock, this ebony stone. You kneel and you put your cheek on it. And as you rub it on your face, Nessie, Thank you for everything you've done for us. Good or bad, Timmy lost a foot. Elijah got hit by a boulder that fell down through the village. The goat died. My dad got cut in half by a sword. He lives in a barrel now. And then you come up from the stone and how we react within these tribulations is how we get to the underwater world where Nessie is God. I got that Scottish goddamn shit in me. I took like a couple sips of that Scottish pop y'all got over there. Every time I burp up, it tastes like, like a, what are they called, vomit? Or you're being sick in Scottish? Boke? Bubbling up in me. You're making me bubble up, Scotland. Oh yeah. Look at this. Ooh. Woo! Look at that steaming hot chicken tikka masala. God save the food, let's go. Jasmine rice, chicken leg, some coriander, a little bit of yogurt, 
Little lime, little wrap, a little roti. Take a chicken leg, scrape it right off the bone. A little spoon of rice, some more sauce, a little yogurt, coriander, a little lime juice, rice, chicky, in, tikka masala sauce, cover it. Roll it up to the face. Ah. So here we go, we got the two versions. We got Josh, we got Miles. One with the better rice, full chicken legs. We got some yogurt, some coriander. Then we got our man Josh. He likes to just shovel it in his face like a moose. Josh just wants the big old diaper. He wants the big. Wow. Mm. This tikka masala is gonna tikka my masala. Big day for Scotland. It was a big day for me. Scotland, I love you. World peace. We took tikka masala to a level. Josh, Miles, let me. No. God save the food. 